now let us introduce a very important concept which is referred to as a factorial notation or a factorial. Now, let us look at a race, it is a 100 meter race and I have 8 people who are running in this race. So, they are distinct people. So, I have person 1, person 2, person 3, person 4, person 5, person 6, person 7 and person 8. These are all distinct people. Okay? They are running this race. Now, what are the possible ways these athletes can finish the race? So, I have position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the positions that is what I mean by this is, this is the first position of finish, the person who comes second and the person who comes eight because there are only eight people, these are the only finishing positions. So, what is it I am interested in? I am interested in knowing how many orders of finish that is possible when eight people are participating in a particular race. Okay? I am not assuming any ties now, I am assuming that there is a clear ranking or a clear order of finish. So, now let us look at this position. And I am also assuming that all the 8 of them are equally capable. So, there could be anybody can come first on any given day and the difference is not going to be too much. Now, how many choices do we have for the first person? So, if I put person 1 here, just a hypothetical situation, then person 1 cannot appear in any other position because he has already come in the first position position. So, given that person 1 is in the first position, person 1 is not available for any other position. So, for person 2, the position 2, I have only a choice of 7 people because person 1 has already occupied the first position. So, suppose person 2 comes to the second position, for the third position, I do not have both person 1 and person 2. I have only a choice from the other 6 remaining and suppose person 4 is in the third position. Okay? For the fourth position, I have only 5 choices. It could be person 7 and so forth. I have person 8, I have person 6, I will have person 3 and I have person 5. So, this is one order. Okay? So, if I am looking at it, the number of choices to fill in the first position, I have 8 choices. If I fill up the position 1 with one of these people, for the second thing, I have only 7 choices. I have 6 choices here. I have 5 choices here, 4, 3, 2 and 1, these are the choices I have to fill in these positions from the available number of people. These are distinct people. So, I can in other words, if I term the action, first action is to choose from these 8 people, number of people who would fill in the first position. Second action is to come up with the number of people who will fill in the second position and so forth. The eighth action is number of people who will fill in the eighth position. Then I can apply my multiplication rule of counting to know that the total number of possible ways in which all these eight athletes can actually complete the race is going to be 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4, into 3, into 2, into 1. This is a large number. Okay? So, this is basically, it helps me. So, instead of writing as 8 into 7, into 6, into 5, into 4, into 3, into 2, into 1, can I have a simpler way to express this number? Okay? So, what is the simpler way to express this number which is 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1? This is where I define 
a notation which is referred to as a factorial notation. What is a factorial notation? Factorial notation is the product of the first n positive integers. What are the first n positive integer? 1 into 2 into 3 up to n. This product is what I refer to as n factorial. Okay? So, this is the notation is n with an exclamation mark and I refer to it as a it is called n factorial n factorial and it is written as n factorial by convention 0 factorial is equal to 1, 1 factorial is also equal to 1. So, now if I have this factorial notation my earlier problem becomes very simple. I can write that the total number of ways I can express it as equal to 8 factorial which is far more elegant than writing it as 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. I can just express it as 8 factorial. So, this factorial notation is extremely useful. Again, let us go back to looking at this example where I have 3 shirts. Now, the first choice is again suppose in the same uh, choosing example uh, this one I have only 3 people and this is again the order of finish of these 3 people are wearing a yellow t-shirt, a blue t-shirt and a green t-shirt. The first order could be the yellow t-shirt is 1, the blue t-shirt is 2nd, the green t-shirt is 3rd, the second is yellow t-shirt is 1st, green is 2, second, blue is 3rd. So, you can see that the total number of ways is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The number of objects distinct object n is equal to 3 and you can see that n factorial the way I defined it was 3 into 2 into 1 which is giving me a 6 here. Okay, total number of choices which is n factorial which is equal to 6. Okay. So, now let us go back and look at the factorial notation phi factorial. What is phi factorial? Phi factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Now, if you look at this portion, if you look at this portion, it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. I know this is nothing but 4 factorial. Hence, I have 5 factorial which can be written as 5 into 4 factorial. In other words, what we say is similarly if I look at 6 factorial, 6 factorial is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Now, this portion is nothing but 5 factorial. So, I can write 6 factorial as 6 into 5 factorial. In other words, for any integer n, n factorial is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 times 1. This is n minus 1 factorial. So, the first expression is n factorial equal to n into n minus 1 factorial. Okay, so, I have n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial. Now, again look at the following. I have 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so, I can write this also as 5 into 4 into 3, 2 into 1, where this is nothing but 3 factorial. So, I can write this as 5 into 4 into 3 factorial. Similarly, if I have a 6 factorial, which is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, I see that this is equal 
equal to 4 factorial. So, I can express 6 factorial as 6 into 5 into 4 factorial. So, you can see that if I have 5 factorial, I can write it as 5 into 4 into 3 factorial, 6 factorial or 6 into 5 into 4 factorial. So, in general for any i less than or equal to n, so my n if it is 5, what are the i's that are less than or equal to n? I ha can have i equal to 1, I can have i equal to 2, i equal to 3, i equal to 4 or i equal to 5. I have n factorial which is 5 factorial which is n which is equal to 5 into your 4. So, if my i equal to 1, okay, n minus i is 4 factorial. So, it is 5 into 4 factorial i equal to 2, it is 5 into 4 into 3 factorial i equal to 3, I have 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial i equal to 4 is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay. So, this is another expression which we can use and this will help us simplify a lot of expressions when we are encountering counting when we do our permutations and combinations and probability problems. Now, let us look at further simplification of factorial notation. Now, what is the factorial notation we are looking at? What is 6 factorial? 6 factorial I know is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 from my first definition. 3 factorial, I just retain that that way. I recognize that this quantity is nothing but 3 factorial. So, I can cancel out this with this and I get 6 factorial by 3 factorial is nothing but 6 into 5 into 4. Okay. Okay, which is 120. Now, let us look at the next problem. 6 factorial into 5 factorial. So, I have a 6 into 5 into 4. We have already seen 6 factorial by 5 factorial is 6 into 5 into 4. Now, 5 factorial by 4 factorial is going to be 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 4 factorial. So, I can see that I can simplify this by cancelling out the 4 factorial with 4 factorial and what I have is 600 as the answer. Now, sometimes you might want to express a product in terms of factorials. So, suppose the example I have taken here is to express 25 into 24 into 23 in terms of factorials. Let me write it. I, I am having 25 into 24 into 23. I am going to multiply the numerator. So, I am going to write it as a fraction into 21, so fourth with 1. I only want this portion, I only want, I only want this portion. So, I need to divide the denominator with this portion which I have put with double line and what is that portion? That portion is nothing but 22 into 21 into 20 into 2 into 1. Now, what is this denominator? Denominator is nothing but 22 factorial. My numerator is nothing but 25 factorial. So, I can express this 25 into 24 into 23 as 25 factorial by 22 factorial. Okay. So, I can express this 25 into 23 as 25 factorial by 22 factorial. Okay. So, this notation of expressing the uh, product in terms of factorial would come in news 
when we learn more about permutations and combinations. So, in summary what we have learned today is we introduce the factorial notation and how do we simplify expressions using the factorial notation that is what we have learned.